said rants. We didn't necessarily say apple rants. <laughs> also true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good interjection. Also true. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, um, being, like, you're right. Being, uh, you're, you're right, uh, Matthew. Uh, Bing is getting um, a lot better in, in its uh, search results. I, and, and it looks like Bing is going to pick up Google Slack in China. I that 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 both is a smart business move for Microsoft and a little scary uh, because even Google had enough common sense to go, you know what, fuck you, China. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but the biggest thing is it's hard to avoid those, you know, billion users or potential billion users. Yeah, that that that's the thing, uh, uh, and I I think being because it's it's not quite Google, but it's pretty damn close. We'll probably do very well there. You know, it's basically hi Google left. Don't worry, we'll replace them. <laughs> um, th what do y'all think? Good thing, bad thing, smart thing, dumb thing. I said smart. But not ethical, but hey, if you're trying, you don't have to be ethical, you're trying. <laughs> Anyone else have any thoughts on that? Uh, I don't know. I, I think we discussed this before. I mean, it's like Google Google has a problem because of how they believe information should flow. Obviously, Microsoft doesn't agree. So. No, no, it's like a Microsoft. But be, here's the thing. Being... Uh, you know, Bing is the second largest search engine, but it's less than a fifth the size of Google. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, so it, Google's got to do. I mean, Bing, uh, Microsoft's got to do something to grow that Bing market share. Bundling it with Windows and Internet Explorer just isn't enough these days. You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, no, it's because the people have a choice now because they have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Even before the EU ruling, I honestly don't think bundling it with... It's like, you know, the average user knows I want to install Chrome or I want to install Firefox. The average yeah. user knows that. Preferably Firefox over Chrome or Chromium, but that's my opinion. You know, that's... Uh, uh, this was a planted story and that somebody sent this to us. Um, what do we think about these Sony domain names? I don't know. Sony-Microsoft.com. And yeah, Microsoft-Sony.com. Microsoft owns them. Hmm. I I don't know what to make of that because Sony already sells Microsoft. Do we do we think the only way this makes any sense to me at all is if there's gonna be like a Sony Windows Seven phone or something? I actually Windows. Actually Windows Eight. Like, is there gonna be a Sony? Windows 8 tablet phone, you know, homogenized system or something. I, I'm trying to think of any other reason to buy this. Oh, I don't know. The time will tell. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, like companies do it. Companies do this stuff all the time. They buy domain names. And no, no, that, that, that's the really funny thing. You want to know who the number one holder of Linux domains is? So, yeah, <laughs> they talk about how how um, one of them. Uh, it's really funny. It's talking. It, it's talking about how it, it's like an open source thing slash Linux thing. And it's talking about how great ASP.NET is, <laughs> and it's owned by Microsoft. I wonder why. You know, it's like hmm. <laughs> it's like. Uh, Speaking of .NET, I have that running right now. Uh, <laughs> My Visual Studio 10. Uh, anyway, let's go on to the... Uh, yeah, you, 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 uh, you uh, posted... Linux. Yeah, you, you posted this. Lead away. <laughs> I didn't post that. No, Dark did. Well, Microsoft apparently is now the fifth largest contributor to the Linux 3.0 kernel. Or, let me rephrase that, 95% of the work that was done by one guy. <laughs> and it's all for Hyper-V. Uh, uh, okay, uh, that, that, that's a good thing, but the obvious question, and I'm sure everybody's going to go, oh, you're just being pro-Linux, hate Microsoft, trying to paranoid, 
But is Microsoft given the necessary legal work to Linux that anybody who's using Linux is immune from suit for Microsoft patents that may or may not be infringed you know upon by this you know guy? Linus could be a dick one day. It's like, okay, you, you know what, Microsoft, you don't like how they sell for patents? Well, well okay, I'm going to take you, I'm going to take out Hyper V out of the kernel, see how you like that, you know? Uh, okay, A, I don't think Linus would ever be that much of a dick, and B, how, how does that do anything but hurt the end user? If, if Linux starts making I unilateral... I can do that module, but still. If Linux starts don't making... Don't piss them off. You know, the idea of Linux is, provi is you know, the end user wins. How, how is that anything but a diametric contradiction of the whole Linux philosophy? Well, you know, I, I, the way I, I guess Microsoft is heading is that they're... That, uh, they're just going to try to find as many uh, people paying them royalties so they can just sit back and use Bing and Facebook. No, no, nobody better ever pay them a royalty over this because they gave this freely. There's no royalty involved. They gave this to the kernel. I was going to say the biggest problem is that you're running on GPL version 2. Uh, that, that, will, that Microsoft will have trying to you know, roll this into in a package. So you, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That, that could have implications, but you know, it's like, like I'm wondering if that isn't the plan. I, I, I'm, I, I, I said, I, I am not holier than thou. You know, open source doesn't have a problem with people who want to contribute to it, and I don't think anyone has a problem with contribution. I'm just hoping it isn't a backdoor attempt to try and do something down the road. You know, that's, because that's, yeah, this could get legally complicated. Well, personally, I just think it's a big marketing thing, because that way they can say, oh, here's our Windows server, make sure you're running it in Hyper-V so you can virtualize by open your Linux kernel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, call me crazy, I think the industry remembers having Windows servers, and I don't think they'll fall for that, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, what is the market share of IAS now? Uh, depends what you look at. If you we look, lost Tommy. Hello, Kamidor! He dropped off. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. According to this, he's still online. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it, it, uh, depending what metric you look at, it's somewhere between less than 8% to upwards of 25%. Some metrics want to claim it's 50, but I don't believe those for a second. You know, it's... Uh, it, uh, the, the metrics that claim Microsoft owns like 50% of servers are ones that go along the lines of, well, you see, we didn't count Linux or FreeBSD or BSD or Unix. Basically, we compared Microsoft against Solaris and found that Microsoft had half the market. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, no crap, Solaris. No crap is going to have half the market Solaris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, well, this will give you some numbers, I guess. Um, web server growth, this is from 2010. Uh, Apache went from hosting 109 million websites in 2009 to almost 152 million by the end of 2010. Mm -hmm. Net result, almost 43 million new Apache websites in 2010. And, and, the, and what's really funny about that is the Apache alternatives are actually growing at a faster rate. Microsoft went from hosting 49 million to 57 million. Net result, 8 million new IS web websites in 2002. Yeah. And by that chunk, uh, that would put Microsoft at just under 25%, because right now a patch yeah, is just... Yeah, it's at 22%. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah from, what it, from what it looks like, the IDC for Q1 of 2011 says Linux is at 60.9, Windows is at 48.5, and all of Unix is 21.8. Yeah. From Market Share. But that's from Wikipedia, so take that with a grain With a grain of salt, yeah. Like I said. And, you know, this is the fun thing about these metrics. You know, it's... You know, if you want to find a metric to prove your point of view, you can find it because of the... <laughs> The inaccuracy with which, I mean, it's just, it, it's really funny how these things are counted. It's just, but yeah. Uh, I, I'm a little curious about the fact that some of the Apache alternatives are going faster than Apache. It's like, it's still Linux or BSD in some cases, 
but the Apache alternatives are gaining traction, which is both a good thing and a bad thing because it's going to make it a little, a uh, little more because they handle modifications a little differently than Apache, which means you know you, even though it acts like Apache, it's not Apache, so you need to know the other set of rules right. for the other Linux thing. Uh, what what I don't have a problem with the competition. I just wish we could agree on a standard for the files that take the place of a .ht access file. Call it whatever you want, but I want the same uh, the same things for all of them and uh, the, the same thing, preferably the same file name or a, or a way to make it. You know, it's like I, I want that to be a standard rather than this set of rules for this, this set of rules for this, this set of rules for that. I don't know, you know, well, I, I see your point, but like with files and things like that, I, when I administer servers, try to do the exact opposite of a standard from a security standpoint. Well, one of the things I would prefer also is that you figure out a way to move that up a level. I've never liked the fact that the HT access file lives in the uh, public HTML directory. I'd really rather it be up one level so that it's. You can not actually have as many as you want. Like I've, I've made several servers where. There's a file per per mod, like even an encrypted folder. No, no, no. Uh, that that that's that, that that's not what I mean. But I mean is for like on Apache for the HT access to do the modifications for the website, you really want it to be in the web directory. I would rather it be in the directory above the web directory, like where you install a server side running clients and stuff, so that it's not in any way, shape, or form actually web accessible. It's just generating things that are web accessible. Hmm. Well, what are you putting in the file that is a, is a problem, I guess? It's not that I'm putting things in it. It's there are exploits under certain circumstances that would allow other people to add things to the file, I which guess. is why I'd rather it not be in a web accessible file. I'm paranoid when it comes to security. I think well, worst no, no, case... I, I'm as well. I mean, I'm, I <laughs> make lots of decoys and dummy things within... Um, an Apache structure, yeah, um, and try and try, and even when I'm helping friends out that using very well-known forum software, you know, spend hours in making it look <laughs> like something from another planet, you know. So, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it's harder to, to hack them. Yeah, I when I, I you know I say that I want a standard, but not one side I administer has an index file. <laughs> you know, it's like, so that's anyways. Ooh, RAM or HP? Well, there's not really much to go on. I mean, I can really, I can really just so the first Jake's cut. Yeah, okay. Qualcomm. Qualcomm had a second batch of chips, and that's and they were just fabbed with a higher clock rate than the previous one. Uh, John already had gone that over, so great. Okay, they're coming out with 4G. The the Playbook guy, um, I like Crackberry. They they're a bunch of cool guys. Um, they had a skit where uh, they visited Rim's uh, headquarters in Canada and had a pretty funny skit on it. They're saying, you know. Uh, Rimpire strikes back, and I think that's that's my whole thing. I don't care. It's, 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 yeah, people come and go. When QNX is on the BlackBerry phone, that like I said, I stand by that. When QNX is finally all of Rim, that is when they make their return. That's that's when they add ads start coming up on Hoth and kicking ass, man. I was going to say to me, a lot of the Rim stuff is like. Um, what web OS is you buy it for the OS, you don't buy it for the hardware. <laughs> uh, well a lot of RAM is is bought for the hardware that you like the tactile keypads, but but it, it's a problem with, with their software um, that they're they're having now. There's like a disconnect between having a QNX playbook and the and RIM OS getting old and, and wanting to go to QNX. So they're in sort of an identity crisis. Right now, and they have to make it, everything on the same page. Yeah, and uh, and honestly, I think they should just you know split that. You know, they, 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 because of that identity crisis. I, I said it before, and I'll say it again. Rim needs two product lines. They just do. That's. I mean, I do know people that swear by 
nothing but a BlackBerry because of the of the keypad. Oh, I, I, I know. That's the thing. The people cried bloody murder yeah. when, when BlackBerry went from having a full... Because when, when BlackBerry released those first phones, and instead of having a full query keyboard, had that intuitive type keyboard. Yeah. And people cried bloody murder. Like, Rim, what have you done? <laughs> it's like... Yeah. All right. <laughs> but, but according to Apple users, you know, consumers don't make a conscious choice to buy an Android device, but they make a conscious choice to buy an iOS device. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, you can go smoke that Apple. Yeah, I'm so sick of that. Does. I mean, this is like some of the no, it's like the the, the uh, 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 honestly, I think the platform, the three platforms, people make a very conscious choice to buy. Possibly four, are RIM, mm -hmm. uh, WebOS. You're making a conscious choice to buy a WebOS device, yeah, especially right so now. Cool. And, 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 and you have to argue anybody. HP's marketing the freaking device with WebOS. Yeah. yeah. I think you probably are at this point. Where yeah, at, at this point, but that may change. Uh, but one, the one device you're definitely making a conscious choice to buy is Phone Seven. <laughs> uh, given Microsoft's claim of nobody wants to sell our device, they tell them not to buy it. I think I actually think that consumers make make a conscious choice. They look at the phone and the software as a package and go, you know what, this 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 does this for me better. You know, maybe they want that hard keyboard, and then they go pick up the iPhone and go, oh, look, at, I like this on the iPhone. Oh, look at this on the BlackBerry, and I, I think that they make a conscious decision of saying the BlackBerry suits me better, or this specific Android uh, Droid 2 is better for me, or the HTC Evo is better for me, even though they, oh, this is also an Android device, Mr. Salesman, oh, okay, yeah, but man, I like how the screen is bigger on this. I, 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 I think, think that... I oh, think yeah. you know I want that too. You know it's. Uh, I, I I think the deal breaker right now is say you're in the store and it's like it's like you narrow it down to two or three two or three devices like all of them are kind of equidistant, you know it's like they all kind they're, they're the version of whatever that does what you want. So say you're looking at an iPhone, an Android phone, uh, you know a Web OS, a Phone Seven phone. You know say you're looking at all four of those. It's, uh, and you found the version that does what you want. Uh, you're probably setting the iPhone aside for that because it do it doesn't do what you want. That may change with iOS five, but, so, but then you get down to the to the Android Phone Seven and Web OS. It's going to come down to three things. What UI style do you prefer? Because no matter how much they're tweaked, there's a certain indicative baseline to how things function. Uh, price, and then. The then after considering all of that, the last thing in the back of somebody's mind is which platform am I backing? But that's the very last thing to think about. Think like, so, yeah. like if they're having the two and they're equal and they're trying. But I want to, to say something though and add to that is that I think somebody looks for its purpose, function, and what they want it to do first. Because yeah, um, people people will say that this text. My primary thing is I want to text or I want to email, and 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 then that's like their their priority, and then it, they start testing. Then they don't want a media phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because seriously, I, I know people that own an iPhone and will tell me every iPhone owner that I know at this point goes, "What phone do you have?" Because in the, in their iPhones just can't make a phone call. Anymore. You know, it's just that's the end. They, what do you buy them? Every iPhone you. A personal iPhone owner that I know is at their wit's end with the, the call management, both on Verizon and AT&T. What are you and talking about? Apple does not their call. Yeah. You know, yeah. And so brought to you by the eye. I said, well, look, you know, I've got a Palm 3. It's older, WebOS. And, and that's the first thing I asked him. I said, what What do you want from a phone? Because if you're here, to, that uh, I consider them like a channel surfer. You know how people, they buy cable. It's like I look at many iOS users as these people that buy the $100 plan from a cable company, they, they don't really know what the hell they want on TV. You know, they just they just want to sit there 
and flip channels, <laughs> all freaking 1,500 channels. <laughs> Hey, 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 five hey, seconds of this, five seconds of this, five seconds of this, and keep going. You, you know what? I mean, they find the occasional show that they like. Yeah, I, 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 I'm the channel, exact man. opposite. I want my cable a la carte. They're really, of the exactly. hundred and sixty exactly. some odd freaking channels we have, I want like twenty of them. I want yeah. those twenty. Take the rest away. Here's my fifty bucks. Go away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I liken a lot of iOS users that I know, and they'll admit to it to being the ultimate cable user. They have got seven receivers in their house, and the receiver licensing fees uh, are equal to what they're paying in cable. They don't care. Uh, they have 1,500 channels. They don't care. They, they go, oh, you know, I like to flip and, and just see what's out there. And, and that's kind of like how they, I, I liken that to the app market mentality. So really, I, I, I just ask the user, so, okay, look, what, what do you want to do with your phone? So I have very specific needs. I, that's it. That, that, if you don't meet them, I'm not interested. I don't give a crap if you can make coffee for me. That, 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 this is not happening. Uh, I have a specific task that I need, uh, and, 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 and it needs to do it very well. And I ask that question. So they can say, well, all right, I want this, this, and this, and this. And, and most of the time I'd say, well, they like, they like, a lot of them like cool applications. But you can literally sit there see them grinning their teeth and weighing it in their head. They're like, wow, do I want to give up this roller coaster game to actually make a phone call? Hmm. You know, and you can literally watch them rationalize that. And more than not, they actually just want to end up having maybe an iPad that they'll pay to do all those things on it or an iPod touch, whatever, and, and, and getting a phone. And going back to actually doing what, which like, which is the core of BlackBerry See, popularity. I, I, I feel like text, email, and application, you know, productivity applications and phone calls very well. See, but this is where I know I don't get the Apple user, and B, I feel more and more like an old fart because I literally I sound like an old fuddy duddy grandpa. I want my phone to make a phone call. You know, yeah. it's like everything else is secondary. Does it make a phone call? Okay, yeah. what else can it do? Okay, but <laughs> like, it's like... <laughs> and I admit to you on, on, on one, of the, one of the other shows that we did, I don't know if it was iWorld or the other Mac for PC, but my wife is in that category where, why do you want to keep the iPhone again, honey? Because she already knows that... But, it can't, it can't make a phone call if it's if her life depended on it. You know, she wouldn't, she wouldn't do it, but she likes it because it's the fashionable thing right now. She likes the look and feel of it. It's the cool <laughs> So, uh, it's like humans, man. Humans. <laughs> but, you know, it's valid. You can't tell somebody that um, you're wrong for picking up so many people. I mean, but that's their choice. I don't know what just happened to your mic, but <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's their choice. <laughs> uh, shoot, there went. Okay. No, but I'm just saying that's, you know, we can't say that's their choice for do, picking that. No, it's it's they, they have the option to make the wrong decision if it's the right Ever. one. If it's the right one for them, you know? Yeah, Ever, it becomes a nuisance to my wife when, uh, you know, how was your day? Oh, by the way, I need to tell you. Hello? You know, it's like, hello, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, you know what? My, my logic is if they want to make that decision, that's fine. But I have no sympathy for them when they suffer the consequences of it. I know it's your wife, and you have to love her, and you promise to love, honor, and obey. And it's like, but I also, have, I also want to be able to have a conversation with her as well. You know, it's like, <laughs> damn. So, but anyway, that's the reason like I said, everybody has her, and I have another friend, um, Laura, who, she's like, yeah, it sucks at making phone calls, and she's like a text, texting max, master now on the iPhone, and, but she likes it, she likes texting better on a hard keyboard, but she likes the package of having the apps, because she plays lots of games at work on it, uh, while she's waiting for something or other, and, um, so that's what, worth it to her, for keeping the iPhone, so, uh, there are those users that, 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 that like that, and that's quite frankly when somebody asks me, well, uh, what do you use because this can't make a phone call? Obviously, if they've mustered enough to ask me that question, that it is becoming a problem. Uh, so, you know, that's uh, really uh, 
Everybody has their limit. I'm sure at some point in the next three to five years, we'll find out the limo of Apple diehards. Yeah. But I do, yeah, exactly. I want to wait a couple years because I know now 10 people that are for sure leaving the uh, iOS platform for another platform. I don't know if it's Android or something else, but most likely probably Android, maybe Windows Phone 7. Um, no, I think one of them is going to try WebOS, but, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm telling them to get the don't get my phone because uh, I'm my WebOS version does not have anywhere near the power that you can get with like the. Oh no no no! If you're gonna buy yeah. WebOS, you yeah. want to buy one of these new yeah, phones. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a demo just the stuff release. that WebOS can do now because of, of um, you know my contract with uh, one four five. It just it, it doesn't do anything. The, the anything one here. thing I don't get, and, and this is obviously who HP is going after, but have you noticed like a, a good number of the WebOS phones that HP has released? Why they're powerful? There are these like how small can my phone get phones? Mm. And I'm just like, it, I, I I don't want to be going swipe and swoop and swoop on a thing I feel like I can swallow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm actually in debate that. The only reason why I would get the pre three originally was because it couldn't it, it couldn't do the bounce thing off of the, off the tablet. But they say that's coming to the beer. I look at a mobile phone that I've used enough of them uh, to say that I do want to do a little bit more than just texting an email. And but I'm finding a problem with the form factor that that while I want to do it, it's 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 cumbersome to do it. And so. That's where the tablet for me comes in, in that it's right. It's the, I say it again. It's like my mantra. It's an extension of my phone that it can do what I want to do a little bit more, but I don't need it to do ebook reading and all this other crap like a general purpose computer. I just think it's silly that we're trying to make tablets general purpose computers when they clearly cannot run full operating systems, with the exception of the Windows Seven tablets. It, 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 I, I'm. I don't need to. Have to oh, do. I, 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 don't know. I think Honeycomb can make a can, can, for what the average user needs. I think Honeycomb can make a shot for for a power user, you know, who actually wants. So I don't so, think. But, but that's why I'm asking again. Why would somebody want to have? Well, they're going to carry the tablet and the phone. So then, therefore, I want my phone smaller if I'm going to carry the tablet. And the tablet, I, I like the, the phone factor of. But I, say, I think that people will buy it, but then get tired of it. I think that the seven-inch tablet, and I could be wrong. I'll admit it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think that that users are buying into this now that are going to be like, "Geez, man, you know, I'm just not loving this around anymore. It's going to collect dust." I want something smaller. That yes, this does something better than my phone can do, and that's what I want from it. But I'm not willing to lug this much around uh, to do it. And that's uh, why I like where HP took in integrating services where I can take phone calls on the tablet and take text messages and real phone functions and delivers it to the tablet. Personally, and, what I'd like to see a bit is um, some slates. I refuse to call them tablets. They're slates. I'd like to see some slates that have a... They, they're just a slate, but they have the ability to add a phone to them if you want to. So, like, you can go to AT&T or Verizon and buy the little plug-in thing, and you plug it in like a SD card or something, and now it's a phone. If, let me put it this way. If there's an Android tablet, and I'll say it right now, if there's an Android tablet, this is like 7-inch, right? The I think I'm crapping that. Oh, shit. Anyways, what about the seven-inch tablet? <laughs> what, what happened to your audio? I don't know. I'm well, Skype again. It's doing this craziness. Um, what I'm saying is that if Android has a seven-inch tablet and Android Maker bridges phone functionality from their phone to the tablet, it'll become a serious contender. See, I, I, I argue that's a 50-50 thing. I, I, I think half of the users are like you and they want it, and half of them are like me. With no offense, I don't want to make a phone call from a slate. The only kind of phone call I want to make from a slate is a video call. Okay. I, I, 
I, I, I, I do not want to make a traditional like boop 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 phone call from a slate. I don't want to okay. do it. So what do you want from a slate? Are you looking are you looking for a tech tech a slate to replace a notebook? I guess I'm after what is your function that you want because right now I don't see any slate or tablet uh, worth it. The versus a slate. Uh, Per per personally, what I would want a slate for would largely be the same thing I would want a netbook for. Basic computing, but not not oh dear god computing. Basically, if like if I'm in a conference with somebody and we're looking at their web page, I would like to just have a a, a a slate in front of me where as we're talking, I can go jab type jab type taunt, and make it as we go. Or, or make the notes or do the changes or do the stuff like that. But that's more, I don't need a full OS. I need software designed to do the task I want okay, to do. Okay, I can agree with that. I can agree. I, I mean, you don't need a full OS. That's, that's true. We could say that. I mean, uh, um, I made a statement about Windows Phone's uh, uh, we, could, we could correct it and say, as long as every function necessary is there, Minus, I guess, anything else that might come up for us, that's fine. But I don't know of a tablet that exists yet that will even does what no, you No, no, no. I, I, no, I argue that the tablet... Oh, and I, like I said, I refuse to call them tablets. I argue that right now the slates are immature. But if enough of them wind up in people's hands as their secondary computing devices with aspirations for them to become their primary computing device, people will write the software that's needed to allow that work to be done. Okay. And see, in my position is I, I, I'm not willing to lay down the dough for the cash to have an aspiring product. I want, I, I want the product. And uh, until then, I, that's what I'm saying. It's not... It, because... Right now, it's four months. I keep making the argument: slates, tablets, pads are not there. They cannot. They suck. Versus uh, a, a, a thin, I don't know, an ultra portable, net, whatever you want. I consider anything a netbook to be from powerful to low end, but minus uh, I/O. A netbook to me is just full power. Could be very fast, it's just limited in I.O. is what I consider a netbook. From, coming from the net PC is where I liken a netbook from. Uh, but uh, uh, the iPad does nothing what Steve Jobs said it would do better on stage than I see today. And I've used it plenty of times. Uh, it just doesn't, it just, I'm just, I keep putting it back down. Are, are you sure back. you're an Apple person? <laughs> uh, of course I am, because, uh, because OS X and a Mac does fully and better uh, for many things that I need to do than versus uh, Windows primarily and, and I'm not gonna say that Linux is Linux to me is a better OS on its own. But the ecosystem for Linux for what I need to do is not yet there. It honestly depends what you're doing. Like for the type right. of work I do, Linux is more than mature because it like sure. the internet runs on Linux. So of course, things to make websites have been on Linux since. I know <laughs> exactly, it, it, but, I, but I, that's why I tried to finish my statement. Anything on the server side, Linux is there for what I need. You know, for, for what I need, absolutely. Um, but yeah, so I, it's like I. I guess if the user to come and tell me what can their iPad or, or Droid tablet do uh, because they paid what five hundred six hundred bucks for it? It can do FaceTime. Uh, I mean, what what does it do that you can't do on an ultra portable? That an ultra portable will just slaughter that device and kill it. Um. It, 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 uh, okay, it's getting into something that you and I don't particularly care about. I have an appreciation for it, but not enough to compromise my functionality. But the average end user has an appreciation for it enough to compromise their functionality. The advantage of the slate form factor is you have nothing. You know, you have no keyboard, no mouse, no saw, no weight, no nothing. It's literally something lighter than a book that is smaller and basically you don't need a laptop bag now you need a side pocket in your carry-on it's like basically it's um, 
one of the reasons I love the convertible devices, I like that tablet, that Lenovo, excuse me, that um, convertible device that's a laptop that converts into a slate and vice versa that Lenovo built and things like the Atrix. I like the agnosticness of that. I, I really do think that is where, I think at one point, three, five years down the road, it's not going to be, it's not going to be laptop versus slate. It's going to be a slate that happens to be capable of being a laptop or vice versa. Uh, because then that makes sense. But right now there well, but I'm not talking about I'm talking about ultra portables um, I mean it, I'm not talking about a heavy laptop I mean well, no, no. E e e even then it's the form factor to interface with the ultra portable you have to hold it up you have to fold it open and you have to interact with the keyboard and the mouse on the okay. uh, on the because on the slate, it's you pick it up, you push things. <laughs> but you know what I find is that many people don't like reading. Like they tried using the iPad as an ebook reader. And no, no, they no. Found that, it cumbersome well, because they have to hold it at an angle versus a laptop. Mar that's Marcel, still. that's why I got a Kindle. It, it does the the thing I cared about most, which was having reading material and so forth. And honestly, <laughs> that's something I find really interesting. The Kindle has a web browser. Uh, I haven't used it because I'm looking I up and I, 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 I'm looking up on how it gets charged. Well, and it's it's it, it's it's an experimental thing. But honestly, if they could make that browser work well enough that other than not being in color, or if at some point a future Kindle has a color e ink, uh -huh. uh, you know, for anything other than going to a video site for like googling. For going to article sites, for looking at pictures, for things like that, why it wouldn't be as good? That might be a good enough experience. Uh -huh. So you know, it just depends on what type of web browsing you're doing. Yeah, I want I want a Kindle, but I'm not going to read in bed with it. You know, it's like uh, uh, quite you know, quite frankly, I do most of my reading on the can. So. <laughs> <laughs> You say that now. Something I found myself doing more than once here is starting the Kindle reading while I'm sitting here resting my eyes. If wow. I press the button and I have Microsoft Sal or Sam go blah 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 No, no, no. See, and then, it, and yeah. then maybe Android comes up to something. You and I are opposed on that. I want 10 inch plus. You want tiny. You want that in between size. I, right. I, I, I want it to be. I don't want it to be a desktop replacement. I want it to be standalone that allows me to do augmented tasks. That's like it's a great. Well, you want it to be a netbook replacement, but see, I don't think it can do it yet. Maybe uh, so. Maybe maybe 2012 is the year that they get it to be as powerful. Uh, probably not. That's too early. No, it, 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 no, the problem isn't the platform. The problem is software development, mm -hmm. it's a, which is an entirely different platform. I argue all of them, including, though it pains me to admit this, with the proper software engineering, iPads are ready for that. What's missing is the software designed to do it for that device. So. And the limitations of the underpinnings of what they allow, they allow you to do with the operating Yes, that, that's why I'm going to say iOS, with the, that's why I put the qualifier with some creative software engineering. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of my, my debate concluded on Twitter where the guy's like, you know, you as, a, as an iOS developer have a lot of opportunity rather than, you know, bashing the iPad. And I said, you know, that's just it. I have my opinion now. Because, quite honestly, I need the full operational ability that is Windows 7 on a tablet 
to actually get the kind of applications that I write to work. I have to bend over backwards and limit the user experience for my the doctors that use my uh, my software to the point that to, that I'm sitting here and going, why am I going to write this if it really they're going to look at me and go, you know, it'd be nice to get this this and this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, mobile operating systems as they stand now just really the bubble gum. Sorry, you know, it's like you can't you can't do. Well, no, and, and, and honestly, my um, th that's one of the reasons I don't get, you know, we talked about this the last show, the Apple lock-in, because it, it, it's, honestly, if Apple's not going to provide that, there's nothing to stop you as a developer from creating your own virtual machine that gives you everything you need, you know, it's... Yeah, but they're going to run on iOS. I, I know that. I'm, yeah, I'm considering looking at Android, which seems to have a bit more flexibility, um, and more, and more I can go with it. Uh, I'm also looking at, at RIMS Q and X uh, as well, but it's sad that even those platforms, though, just because of the mobile nature, don't have. I, ha I, I find myself trying to find like third party services. I say, well, maybe I can push this data here and keep it in a repository, and and or you know maybe I can set the screen this way and this and that, and I'm finding it. it, it, it just, getting very frustrated and trying to bring some of the applications that I want over to the mobile platform with its current limitations. So well, and, and it's a, it, it, at the end of the day, I have mixed feelings about it because I, why I want to do the same things on these mobile devices. Uh, I don't want to do them in the same way, uh, which means I really do want a separate application for the mobile device. Exactly. I don't. I'm not coding my the mobile versions of my software to be like what you would see on the desktop. Obviously, it doesn't work for fingers and clicking and all such stuff. Yeah, because your but interface is entirely different. Like database connectivity, split screening. I need to be able to manage patient charts and a flow that is consistent with what touch is touch friendly. Yeah. Uh, that has the power rather than in, in, the, in the features of, that is existent in my patient chart that versus finding myself clicking, 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 clicking as what I'm running into and, and what do I do now with side data that I actually need to show statuses um, within the patient chart that it's just so cumbersome to do on a mobile platform, especially iOS at this point. Anyways, we've diverged. Did you have anything to add, Dark? Not really. Okay. All, I can, all I can really say about the tablets is um, they're being marketed as content consuming devices. That's quite frankly really what they are. Yeah. I mean, the OS, the you know, underpinning OS is that, you know, are providing currently, that's, it's just a portal to, you know, whatever content you're trying to access. And you wonder why I was so paranoid, and Marcel, you wonder why I'm so paranoid about Apple's ruling, because I'm like, I guess it's probably not going to happen, but based on everything we just talked about, if there's a 1% chance that it can happen, I have the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> but Dark brings up a good point, because I agree, that's why I don't want a tablet. I don't need to consume anything when I already have a device that can't create and consume at the same time. It possibly weighs a pound heavier. I mean, so it's like I, I find the point of owning this such a device just worthless. It's just it's like I might as well just throw the cash in my fireplace. Okay. And, so, well, you're talking No, I wanted to see. That's what I'm saying. It's like they market this stuff and say, "Oh, look at all the applications." Well, it's really a conceptual device of like reading and doing all this other stuff. But yet we're trying to say it's an application. Are they really applications, or are they just little publishing hubs versus you know creating something? It depends what you're trying to do. When the carpet cleaners came, uh, not too long ago, my madre moved. Uh, and when she got to her new place, the carpets were filthy, so she called the carpet cleaners. Carpet cleaners came in, had an iPhone, and a US, excuse me, and a, uh, I think it was a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi printer, and literally, you know, they pushed the button on the iPhone and printed out her invoice right there. 
You know, that's getting work done, son. That was software created that got through the Apple firewall because it didn't duplicate functionality and so forth. You see more of that going on in Android than iOS, but some of it does go on in iOS. What What's missing here is there's an overwhelming lack of those type of applications. But I think as these devices become more prevalent by virtue of the fact, well, everybody has one of these, that software will become more prevalent. Because initially that software really did, I mean, initially the only things you could do with a GUI computer, you put pretty much spreadsheets and Word documents, and then people realized, hey, wait a minute, I can also do this, and this, and this, and this, and then people yeah, started making... time, though, when the underlying rests were very open. Not so this mobile environment. There, there's so much down in the near versus the old days. Do my ears deceive me? Did you just make an argument for an open environment? <laughs> I always do. He, 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 Marcel has said he's not against the nature of open source. There's that developer need to make money, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't... I, I, well, you can, that's right. You can make money in, in, in open source. The problem that I have is that... <laughs> Everything has to be free according to song. No, no, no. I don't make that argument. Some of the best software I've ever bought is entirely open source, but damn it, I paid hard money for it. <laughs> you know? But because it was open source, I was able to adapt it to fit what I needed. Exactly. Yeah. No, but I want to go back to Dark's point because he, he signed, he made it very succinctly uh, about tablets. And, 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 and I want to know. Uh, are you even on a market for tablet, or do you, or do you think they're just as worth it? No, uh, me personally, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I own two, to be honest. Which two? Uh, right. There's a French company called Argos. I don't know if any of you have heard of them. Uh, um, they came out with a de device that's essentially a five-inch tablet. So okay. it's kind of, kind of a big phone. Um, one model was a proprietary Armstrong Linux infinite. Fine. I mean, you can. You know, they have an SDK that you can download and, you know, break up the bootloaders and all that crap all you want. They have another one that came out that was Android. I own both. They essentially function the same. One I can use for a PDF reader, one I can use for music, audio, video, all that crap. I can do all that on the Android one. The only one difference is on the Android one, I have a few apps. And quite frankly, I find myself using it, the Android version, quite less. Because okay, so how much do these devices cost? Um, the Android one I purchased is a 168-hard drive model, and uh, I purchased for about 200 that's for refurb. And the other one I bought brand new for about 250 when they first came out. Okay, and, okay that's a different price model. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it was an earlier model that I bought, and then they, a year later, came out with the other one. But uh, the fact of the matter is, I can essentially do everything on the older version, that is running the non-Android OS. I can consume all my media. I can consume my music, video, PDFs, web, flash. So it's like, what's my incentive to on a tablet if we can do all this already? Well, no, and that's the what, thing. Wait, give me the name of this tablet again. What is the name of this thing? Arcos 5 Internet Media Arcos? Tablet. Yeah, put, put a link in the thing so I'll link to the... Uh, to the correct one. See, because that's that. Is well, no, no. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. What I want to make is, uh, see, to me, what is it? What is the price of these damn things? Uh, to me, I cannot justify throwing down how much are these things here? Uh, was it four ninety nine, six ninety nine? Um, for, for for a consumptive device, absolutely not. So that's. Because it starts in a whole new realm when you're at that price level for me, and, and Dark just gave me prices that are reasonable for a consumptive device. If if it's not going to be like something that I do find a limit, you know, a limited amount of computing for, then it need then the price needs to be limited. Well, and ironically, he's he's brought up a good point, and that is on some of these ultra slate things like where this. The, where did you put the, the link? Here? He didn't put the link in. Go to arcos.com. Oh, he's putting in escape. Oh, forget it. I don't. Now nah, here, bit bottom of the page. I just put it in the document. Uh, 
I'm gonna check these out. I like that price point. No, but it's like what's, what what he's what he's pointing out also is something that's really funny is if you look at the actual it, it's something really funny going on here is there's actually a competition in this and that you have Android versus traditional Linux and in some ways the traditional Linux is a little bit more but because it's traditional Linux it's not catching on because it's Did traditional Linux. Did this thing play Linux. Flash? Uh, the version the Android one you actually have to root in order for that to work. But <laughs> yeah. How does it perform? Um, it's an 800 meg arm uh, uh, so it's all right. I mean, it plays about as well as what you expect on like the original Droid. So I mean, it's not great. It's not horrible. No, and that's but, probably why Android isn't doing it because it's um, you know it is a less than gigahertz chip. It's one of the older ones. It's not one of the you know. yeah. So this is five inch, okay. And apparently they have changed the model. Well, uh, if you're looking at the other ones, uh, you'd have to go to the. I want to say it's the refurb ones are the ones I usually buy because they're hell much cheaper. But they give you a six month guarantee on them for a month to work, so that's usually what I buy. That would be insufficient for me, but that sounds exactly like what you've been describing, Marcel. Well, I mean, it has to do with my I mean, like, a tablet to me, it, again, it, until they can compute as well or nothing more than an extension of my phone. So, yeah, it needs to do everything that I would expect my phone to do, but I'm a real estate that it should be designed. For. And, you know, I, I, I get where you're coming from, because anything much bigger than you, there's no way in hell you're going to put it in your pocket. Me, the one I want, I either have to be, like, carrying it in my hand all the time, have a have a bag to put it in, or I better be wearing bib overalls and just shove it in my big freaking pocket. <laughs> like a six-year-old or something. It's like, ah! Ah, uh, okay. Um, anything else we want to go into, given we're not probably not going to be doing another show for a month? <laughs> no, I, I think I think we covered it, man. So. Yeah, for those for those of you who want, Dark needs to spawn off. Say what? Dark needs to join us spawn off. I time it on my work schedule. I work third shift. So. Yeah, he's he's usually sitting in front of somebody else's computer when this is going on. It would be a <laughs> misappropriation of resources. <laughs> yeah, that whole yeah. Well, there. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had backtrack running, I could. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, shh. Sh <laughs> Your employer might be listening. <laughs> it's like it's. <laughs> All right, all. That's like if we don't wind up doing um, any more shows until after thought at sometime after the twelfth. So, yeah, it's like at least three weeks, possibly four. It's like peace out, everyone. Yeah.